And look at this. Top eight. No Rashid. No Karen. Right? Yeah. No Bison. No Bison. Yeah. So already we're seeing a, a drastic shift in this. And it's funny, too, because it's not like Rashid got nerfed to the ground. Like yeah. st People still consider him one of the best characters in the game. Yeah, character spread is really, really great in this top eight. And also, most of the players in the top eight play multiple characters, two to three. Yeah, it's true. So it's true. In, a, in the top eight, there's a ton of different characters represented here. Obviously, Sako, somebody you see switch around, uh, you know, sometimes Kage. But in this matchup, I expect Minot, which is mm -hmm. what he's already going to here. You want the range and the ability to keep Sakura away, and I think that's something she's going to really struggle with. You know, she doesn't really have, like, a I just need to be in right now kind of a tool. She's got, like, Fireball Activate or, like, you know, maybe Roll In or something like that. But it's not really that reliable as we look at our first matchup here. That's going to be between Fab Gaming, Sako, and Nauman. Yeah, Detonation Gaming Zone. They have two in this top eight, him and Inabashi Zengif. Here we go. Not a matchup that we would have expected to see last year much at all. But here we go in a top eight, nonetheless. Nauman Sakura really, really putting on a show for everybody. Yeah, Let's see guys, how far he can keep going. You missed any of that yesterday. Obviously, you can go check out some of that. Uh, you know, the archives are all there. I mean, for your time zone, it might not have been so good, so I encourage you to go check it out. So, slow fireball, something Sakura is going to follow behind a lot. Mm -hmm. She needs to charge it up. And when we do see that, that's when we're going to see Sakura kind of walk forward and throw his heavy fireball, clash with it, try to get rid of a hit of it. Yeah, that's all you can see on the charge there. It can absorb one of the hits of the orb coming out, too, and then still keep going. Yeah, and you saw Sako right there use two hits to blow up the fireball on the way in, use the explosion, and then the V-skill after. When there's one hit on the fireball left, you can V-skill it. Something you'll see quite a bit. Dash. Oh, yeah. Nice. Gets in there, manages to get the throw, trying to push Sako into the corner, but a lot of people have been talking about this V-trigger 2. V-trigger 2, yeah. I think it's solid. It makes your far range game pretty scary, and it's like kind of non-committal, I think, for Manat. Like, you don't have to worry mm -hmm. about going in too much. Yeah, just send out the orb, bring oh, it back. do it again! Ton of damage, Raw. and our V-Trigger's still right, which is great. Oh, well, speaking of V-Trigger, now I'm sitting on a ton of meter right now. Has not had a chance to spend it. Gonna lose the round off of that attempt with the EX Shouken. Not gonna connect. Yeah, big bet. Doesn't work out for him. Sako ready for it. Unsurprisingly, I think right there that he needed to try something big. And Sako kind of smelled it. He's like, you know, this match has been me kind of dominating the whole time. You want some kind of big swing? Yeah. Especially late in the round when you don't have a lot of life. I call those the desperation uppercuts. Yeah. And you're about to die or get stunned. You see those come out a lot. Knocked down again. And Sako with a big lead. Unsurprisingly, oh, that's, that's punishable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, minus a lot. Here comes Nauman, activates Raw right now, but has her in the corner, and Sako does not have the ability to activate the V-Trigger to kind of put the scare and get out of there. Oh, yep, gonna Wake keep up, you oh in God. the corner. Plus, and now throw. And this Fireball, very scary to deal with as well. You see Sako just having to block it out here. EX Fireball, Tatsu hits. Ooh. Keeping Overhead. the pressure going, yep. Uh-oh, here we go. Chance for Sako to get out of here. Yep, maximizing the combo, sets up another mix-up here. Yeah, gonna set up the V-Trigger, and now if you're Sako, you just kind of wait at full screen. Yeah, this is, you can't really do much. You just have to wait for the explosion. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna build Sako meter, it's the other thing too, that's very right. Cool. Right. Oh, oh my god, he just jaunted on over, just strolled through the park, Minato taking wins. his time. The nice entire hat. screen. Yeah. The entire screen, Sako was like, you know what? There's nothing you can really do about this orb, so I might as well just mm -hmm. stroll on over. I mean, it, we're, that was literally deer in headlights kind of thing. He was just like, oh my gosh, Manat is just rocking at me. Yeah, and at any time she can just recall the orb, and if it hits you, he's going to combo you and kill you too, right? So, you know, in that moment, you don't really have that other option. All right. Fireball uses it to clash. One hit of Sakura's fireball goes away. Remember, it is going to be three out of five here in the top eight for Street Fighter V. Charge up fireball. Right. Oh, nice jump back light punch. You know, good defense does push her back towards the corner again. This is where Nauman was able to get stuff going. So here we go. Let's see what Nauman can keep going here. Activates the V-Trigger, but out of there. Yeah, the jump drill was really smart. You saw Nauman already had committed to the crouching enemy punch. That's going to be the release, the combo. Set up for the next mix-up here. Yep. Gets the pressure and the throw. And look at this. Almost no life, and that's going to do Sako. Is just running through Nauman now. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those matchups where you need to gamble as Sakura to get in. And Sakura is really not giving Naomi any of those opportunities, those jumps. You know, I mean, sometimes they'll work, but Sakura's just scouting them. There's the jump in, back row, nothing happens. Yep. Not gonna get any sort of a crazy pressure. Oh no! Mr. Median is gonna get back though. That's a huge loss. 
And I like Sako jumping back in, trying to feign running away and then changing it around, but didn't work out for him. Yeah, chase the backdash there. One more for Stun. Oh, he probably tried to go for empty jump low. Uh oh, Sako has a lot of resources oh, here. Oh, but dash. didn't confirm it. And no uppercut, no light kick and uppercut or anything. Oh, nice dash forward to make that orb hit. And then the V reversal going through all of those orbs. Still scary. Sako has critical RP to the throw. Far away. Okay, V trigger's gone. Oh. Crush. Oh boy. Okay, any hit now. Any hit. Single hit. Yeah, he can critical R through a fireball. The jump too. No overheads yet either because that would be punishable into the the, the critical R. Oh, oh no. Critical R and chip. He didn't commit to it. The crush. <laughs> chip now. You have to watch the chip. One hit on it. The dash is up. Boom. Wow. Bravery from now on, like you said. Oh, here we go. Oh, he doesn't even chip. He just goes for the throw instead. Gets it. Sako pulling it off at the last second there. Slowly whittling away the life of Nauman, and it works out. And do and, and you feel like that's kind of, um, you know, maybe nerves for Nauman being on a big stage like this? I mean, he's obviously a good player. Right. Right, but for Evo... Even yeah. Japan, top eight. I don't even know if it's like like just the nerves of the stage, but it's like in a matchup like that, when you have a lead, people always say like, all right, just don't do anything risky. <laughs> just wait, you know, you'll grind it out, you'll get that last hit. But that's one of those moments where like time just keeps ticking, you keep losing life <laughs> over and over and over. And in this matchup, you can have rounds like that where Sakura just doesn't get in, and that might be from the beginning of the round or when Sakura has like a 60% yeah. life lead. She just Sakura. never hits Minot again. I think that's kind of the nature of the matchup. And then also your brain kind of snowballs into itself. You know, every time you get hit, it like folds up just a little bit more. And you're like, oh no. And eventually okay. you're like, I, I gotta do something, I gotta. And then that's when Sako has the war bound, the jab hits, walk up throw, and I'm not ready for the tech. Because of that, we're looking at 2 0 Sako here already. Fab Gaming Sako. Yeah. Definitely oh one who is very familiar oh with this kind of environment, with this kind of uh, stuff, with so much on the line. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, clean. Uh, take that trade. Because now you've got Sako towards the corner. Well, he's it. Oh, no. Just missed the jump attack. Sako able to stop him. So he could have had a lot of frame advantage off of that jump attack. Oh, yeah, OK. Nice have a smart, too. Doesn't have a media after, though. Should we back to me? Yeah, this is pretty rough. Take the side switch. Let's see how we use these orbs. Yep. Keeps the pressure going. And feels a lot like the early seasons of Minot. Potential to get two of those V triggers yeah. in one round. I'm oh. trying hard to get in now, too. Has the fireballs, yeah. Uses some of the V trigger fireballs, so they're gone now. And even trying to use a little bit more V skill one to get in, too. I like that idea. Go with the slide. All right, evened out the life, but again, Sako at that position where he can just, you know what, if he gets a hit, he can just spend the meter and take the win and go to the next round with a victory. Yeah, negative there, activates. Yep. Oh, Is that raw? Do it? Yes. It's that raw EX top, throws <laughs> it out, hits. Yeah, you get a juggle after in the corner. Just do it. Why not? <laughs> well, okay. Don't do it there. <laughs> yeah. One thing I was going to say last round, too, is that I, we haven't seen a lot of raw Tatsu from now and then. I think that's the way soccer players get in a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So I was hoping to see a little bit more of it. And this round, he's been doing it quite a bit. He's gone for a couple. Sokka just stuck the first one. Might have just been one of those things he told himself between the game. Wait, I need to do this more. Yep, you see those raw Tatsus right there. Yeah, and I like the heavy Tatsu from far away, too, to try to get in. V-Skill, and here. Yep, had it already. Already saw the startup of that V-Skill. Comes the second round of orbs here. Sitting on there, you can see the timer's about to run out, so yeah, it just spends it. And now Nauman has to find the way back in. Oh, meter spent from the anti air. He's willing to do that all day. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the medium punch it out of the air. Activation here. Oh, the jump. Yeah, not a big punish, though. I mean, didn't really have anything bigger than he could get, I don't think. Yeah, le especially the way Sakura leaned forward like that. Sakura leaned forward. Oh, that should oh. be able to do it. No, not enough. It's Benny X. 
B skilled nothing. Oh, ah, he went the fireball. If he had confirmed into an uppercut, maybe it would have had a little bit more pressure to go with, but wasn't sure it was going to hit. Or in that case, he thought he had B-Trigger still, right? Which is why he thought the low forward fireball was going to combo. Yeah, okay. He get a juggle after, right? So he had just run out of B-Trigger. We stock on that boy. That's the best. That's that Goken. <laughs> yeah, the snipe. I'm in a great spot now. This is the kind of pressure you need. Oh, uh, yeah, he was going to go for three, it looked like. And Sako said, nope. Side switch, dash under. Using that to wow. get in. What was he trying to do? Yeah, I wonder if that was a late uppercut or something. Yeah. Uh, to get in. So now I'm in with that block, and now has V-Trigger. We see the activation. Now I'm in, I'm in. Still with the life lead here, has a lot of resources, so has the option yet, cancels into the V skill to get in. Here we go. Throw and now Chip. If he can get okay, now Chip is a threat for Nauman. Nauman could just get a hit, maybe a, a uppercut into super. Gets hit though. The snipe with the EX. Oh boy. Not critical R. And yeah, you see Sako backing off. Knows that Chip is still a threat. The V skill. Oh, oh no. he got the last second he tried to slide or something. He has some kind of input come out. Yeah, he, flipped. I think he knew if he had blocked that fireball, that probably would have been enough block stun for Nauman to get yeah. that chip. So at the last second, so he was like, oh, I'm going to block. Wait, I can't block this. Here he comes. And then it was too late. Yeah, in that case, avoiding chip out was pretty tough. So Nauman on the board now. Okay. Not going to let Sako take this one. That he, look at that dash forward. Three of them in a row. Yeah, I like that we're seeing more Tatsus, more dashes on the ground instead of just the air approach. Two in a row. Mm, gets the Stun. crush. Stun. Mix up here, left, right, stays uh, in the front. Tatsu, uppercut. Very perfect. Yeah, that combo hurts. That is one thing in this version. You know, any version, actually. I guess Sakura is hurt pretty much the entire time. It's just she needs those hits. Uh, especially once he gets you in the corner, like you were saying. Yeah, trade on the soul throw. Nice again. The forward dashing from Nauman has really changed a lot. Yeah. Uh oh Well, not that time. Yeah, Sako. We see Sako sniping it a little bit more. Back throw. He was in range. There you see right there, moving forward and then throwing out the crouch and medium kick out all of a sudden, catching Sako by surprise. And now just gonna try to build space with this V-Trigger too again. Yeah, now I'm in out of V-Trigger now as well, so it doesn't have it oh, out that of the air. So nice, reflecting the orb release. Oh. Crush, this should be the kill. Super! Is this gonna kill? This should definitely oh, kill. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. As we tie up two apiece here in our very first match of top eight, Nauman Sakura. The time is now, man. Yep. And for Nauman Sakura. Yeah, and he's doing a good job of adjusting for sure. You can see it, and now Sakura is the one that's forced to adjust, right? It's like, okay, well, you know, my opponent is now kind of like figured stuff out. What is my counter adjustment? Do I snipe the ground more? Is Nauman going to start jumping like a little bit more because, you know, he's been approaching on the ground so much? What's the like last minute adjustment in this fifth game? See them, both of them just concentrating, trying to decide what to do here. I mean, we've gone to the character select for Sako, so this could be him just trying to get more time to think, or he might switch to V Trigger 1. Yep, yep, there it is, V Trigger 1. Going back to the tried and true. Yeah, it takes a little bit more control, and I think it has less full screen presence as well, which is something, to be honest, Minot already has against Sakura, so. But obviously, three-bar trigger, not going to have access to it as often. But any, if there's anybody out there who you can consider the consummate professional with V-Trigger 1 of Monat, it is Fab Gaming's Sako. Oh, for sure. Well, the explosion hit. Oh, yeah. Got him low. Solid damage and building a little bit of gauge with the V-Skill already. We try to erase that fireball with the recall just a little too early there. Yeah. I think we've seen Sako use a lot. Jump back air to air, tagging on more damage. Ow! I didn't think that was going to catch it. Barely clipped. This looked great so far, the way Sako's really controlled this round. You mean now I'm going to find an activation point? That but... V-Trigger 1 may not, the V-Trigger change might not even come into play in this round if, if Sako can take this. Oh, he's got it! Here we go. Uppercut and mix-up time. Throw. Is he going to go for double throw? Oh, no, he faked it. And then goes for it. I love this pressure oh, from that one. Oh, the stun! That's a kill as well. And see, this is what I mean. That V-Trigger wasn't going to come uh, Yeah, <laughs> it did not come into play at all. As Nauman just found that one jump. That's how Sakura is, right? She's 
such a, you know, high damage explosive character, it's just tough for her to get in in a matchup like this. EX Fireball. Well, I don't think she's one of the characters that a lot of people talked about after the patch notes were revealed for Season 5, you know? Yeah, it's not like she's a tremendous winner. Wow, the pants here, but she is solid in this version for sure. It's, it's amazing how many small things can do to change a character. Yeah. We haven't even seen too many of them so far, just some of the combo routes. Oh, again the jumps! EX Katsu! Uppercut after. Sokka, one more guess! Now, man, with the back row oh. moving on to Winner's Finals! Sakura oh. in Winner's Finals of Evo Japan! Who'd have thought it?